and I, I, I got to come to you for this one. One of our buddies, and uh, member of Gator Nation, yeah. Andrew Bear. Shout out to that guy, North Sports Dynasty. He's been telling us Jaron Hall, Jaron Hall all year. One of the top QBs that can go in this draft. Um, at least by wins, he has not been. It hasn't been as great. It, it, is this indicative of the team or him? Should we be worried about him? I mean, if you look at the games that he's in, he's putting good numbers up. True. So I think it's more so the team. But, I mean, you look at their schedule. They had Baylor, Oregon, Notre Dame, Arkansas. Like, they played some damn good teams. Very true. And, I mean, they lost to Arkansas, lost to Notre Dame, which Notre Dame was at home. Like, they went to Notre Dame. So, I mean, a little understandable. Went to Oregon. Uh, they beat Baylor in overtime, but a lot of these games, it's like, okay, they play the tough team and then they kind of have a close one against a Wyoming or a Utah state. Then they come in and play Notre Dame and Arkansas, and then they lose to Liberty. Like there's a lot of that, like back and forth. It's almost like you're, you've got two different teams. They're playing to the level of their opponents, if that makes sense. Right. Right. And, and, and that makes a big difference. That definitely makes a big difference um, playing that tougher talent. But it, this is where I will make the argument for him. Um, the guy is still dominating. He's still he's 11th yeah. in passing overall. He has 2,245 yards, 21 touchdowns. And I think the best stat, three interceptions. Okay? Yeah. This guy is playing ball against top talent. We've seen the quarterbacks that have come out of BYU most recently, Zach Wilson. This, hey, he's a junior this year. Would you advise him? If you're his guidance counselor, coach, whatever, would you advise him to go this year? Or would you at, say, stay one more year and see if you can build on that draft stock? Me personally, I would stay one more year just yeah. because this is a loaded quarterback class coming up. Yes. And then the next one doesn't seem to be as strong. Um, but, I mean, with the numbers he's putting up, I don't necessarily think he can go wrong either way. Because anytime you have a 7-to-1 touchdown interception right. ratio, that's that's pretty ridiculous. Like, that's that's a good season. Oh, yeah. And and look, he has definitely winnable games in, uh, well, actually a 5-2 and two Boise State game. That's going to be that's gonna be interesting. Utah Tech is 1-6. They could beat them. Stanford, we've talked about them. There are games that they could win going down the stretch. Um, to pull this season out and get them into a bowl. But, uh, you know, as for him, hey, and right on time, man. What's yeah. going on, Andrew? So, hey, Andrew, uh, if you're in the comments, uh, I'll pose a question that I just asked Alex. Um, your guy, Jaron Hall, over 2,200, ooh, excuse me, passing yards, uh, over 20 touchdowns, only three interceptions. He is a junior. Would you advise him as his coach or guidance counselor or whatever to go to forego his senior year and go pro? Or would you say, hey, get one more year under your belt, you know, get get some work, you know, so you'll move your draft stock up. Uh, hit us up in the comments. Let us know what uh, what you think. Um, so, yeah, this a hey, it's a good win for ECU. And I think in the long run, this doesn't look as bad for BYU because ECU no. is not a slouch. They're not a terrible team. You know, they've had great years. And, and as you see this year, they're playing pretty solid. So, you know, yeah. shout out to them getting the W, man. Andrew commented, he said, one more year, draft yeah. stock might go up and push Caleb Williams for number one uh, next year if he plays good. Okay, I like that, yeah. Yeah, if and on, you look at it, for quarterbacks next year, you've got Caleb Williams is kind of the clear number one right now. Uh, to me, Anthony Richardson's probably going to stay back for Florida. Yep. Uh, so he's another guy. Uh, maybe J.J. McCarthy out of mm. Michigan. True. He, yeah. He'll be a junior next year, so next year might be his last year. Um, but other than that, there's not much. Where this year you have Stroud, Levis, Young, uh, Sam Hartman. Like it just the list goes and goes and goes, right? So yeah, yeah. If I'm in, I stay back. Yeah, yeah. Because honestly, Hall, if you get in there this year, I mean, you're getting you're moving down the fourth, fifth round easily, and at that point, with with the top heavy QB draft who knows where you're going to end up and you're definitely you're going to end up in uh, somewhere buried on somebody's depth chart or in a practice squad and i think there's yeah. too much talent um that jaron hall has to to put him on there or and worse 
yeah, at worst, they might even try to switch him to like another position because he's so athletic. So yeah. let's let's hope he stays stays put as is. Thanks for watching. If you like that clip, be sure to check out the other great content from the Let's Talk Football community. And as always, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when more great content like this becomes available.